This is this the cake, Manny. 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 Some figures, reviews, displays, and more. This is this the cake, Manny. Hey, what's up, you guys? This is the cake, Manny, and uh, I'm uh, coming at you with a uh, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, you know, tour review. Um, now, originally I wasn't gonna pick these up. I, I wasn't sure about them. But, um, you know, um, I, they were a sale, they were on sale, I, they were, used to be like nine bucks at first, so, it was a little bit, um, I was a little bit like, no, I'm not gonna get them, but, then there were seven bucks, and, uh, they were 20% off, so, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll get them, I'll get one, you know, um, just see how it is, so, uh, anyway, uh, take a look at the packaging, it says Disney, of course, they're, like, buying everything now, I mean, I know, you know, I don't know, they know Marvel and Prince of Persia movies they have now, the franchise, I guess. I don't really know that much. It's made by uh, McFarlane Toys. Um, Eight-year-olds are up, eight and up, whatever. Um, comes with two daggers. Um, and, uh, you know, and uh, his name, he's Prince Dastian. And, uh, you know, on the back it has some of the other figures. So, uh, let's open him up. Alright, so here's the, um, <clears throat> Prince Destin figure on open, um, open, sorry. And, uh, he comes with these two swords, which are, uh, very nice. This one's a little bit, the problem with the swords is, this one's bent, and this one, when I was taking out a package, it broke in half. I super glued it together, so that won't happen, but, um, yeah, that was a little bit of a disappointment. And then also, this is bent, so if I try to bend it back, it will probably break. So that's a bit of a disappointment, because it's bent and it's hard, you can't push together, but, anyway. Um, the figure itself, um, what is cool is he has a place to hold the swords, daggers, so let's just, uh, let's just get that on. Um... tough to get them on, but alright, once you get them on, so there we go, his daggers are on his back, um, they overlap like that, I guess, I guess that's why this is a little bit, um, slanted, like, yeah, bent, but anyway, um, really cool figure, you can't really see the detail, but, um, a lot of detail on it, nice, uh, hair sculpt, everything, really cool, and, uh, you know, now to, onto the articulation, um, his, Articulation, he can, his head can rotate 360 degrees and go up and down really nicely. Sorry, up and down really nicely, so that's really good compared to the Marvel Universe figures. Um, up, he can go up and down, he can go 360 degrees, his arms. His, uh, you know, go like that, and he can do 360 like that, so I guess that makes up with no swivel right here. So yeah, he has a ball joint right there. Swivel at the uh, arms. And, uh, you know, and then he has a swivel at the waist, so that can go 360 degrees, but with the daggers in it, um, I'm not going to exactly do that right now, but, anyway, and let's, um, uh, so his legs go up, well, they don't really go up, that's kind of, uh, they're kind of hindered by this, but whatever, um, they do out, so that's pretty cool that they go out, um, hmm. That's pretty cool. One thing is, his legs pop out very easily. So, you know, um, I don't know if these figures are just kind of cheaply made or something. I don't I don't know. Um, but, you know, he's cool, though. Um, you know, and then he has uh, one joint right here. Whoa, that was weird. Yeah, so one joint right there. The paint's kind of coming off right there. The paint comes out at the joint, so that's kind of bad. Um... And then his feet can go up and down like that. They can swivel. And, uh, yeah, that's for his articulation. So, pretty uh, standard, pretty good articulation. I really like the head, how it can move very nicely. And it's a three and a three-quarter inch. That's really nice. Um, a little size comparison for you. Here's a Marvel Universe, like a, it's a custom Deadpool, but it's like the Namor body right there. Um, so, a little bit smaller than Marvel Universe. And, um, you know, pretty much to scale with the Star Wars. And, uh, 
you know, so they're all pretty much to scale with each each other. Uh, yeah. So, you know, if you uh, like three and three quarter inch, um, I'm not sure. I mean, if you see them on sale, definitely pick it up. He's a pretty nice figure. Um, you know, a little bit of problems on it, but if you're just going to display them or you're going to be careful with them, then I think it's fine to buy them. Um, yeah, so this has been a review of the Prince of Persia thing, uh, figure review. Thank you.